Welcome to Slow Down Sunshine. Today we're gonna to be talking about child seats. Kid seats, booster seats, child restraints. If you're a single mom looking to travel in a camper van or an RV, how to safely secure your child is one of your major requirements. It can be tricky with the different ways to live on the road and travel on the road. So today we'll be talking about what led me to my choices and we will be changing out this gigantic seat to a much more streamlined version that is just as safe and we'll be hoping once we get it in will be much better for being in the van and much more comfortable for us. So first I want to talk about the ability to secure your child and the different options that there are because it is a little different than just a normal car or whatever you normally drive. A lot of families that choose to travel, they choose to have a travel trailer or a fifth wheel or a pull behind living space and then they pull it with usually a truck, a big truck. <laughs> and then they can safely secure their children into that truck like they would um, otherwise. But if you're in an actual RV, class B, class C, class A RV, your options are different. One of the big things for me when I was shopping for van and I didn't really know what I was looking for and I was just looking around, learning, and this one answered my prayers and fell into my lap and I ran with it and it was perfect. So I will show you the things that are a little bit different about this version of this particular van. It's a Winnebago Travato. It is on a Ram Promaster 3500 van base and it was just outfitted by Winnebago. Go. They have a couple of models. This is a 59G model, which has the Murphy bed in the back that actually folds up. I will do a van tour in another video. This is a 2015 Travato 59G and it's actually a 2014 Ram Promaster and I will show you one of the differences that this one has. First, let's get this seat out. It does have a latch back here. I'll show you that in a second. They're a lot easier to take out than they are to put in, right ladies? So this is the bench seat, the dinette seat. There used to be a table here. I took the table out due to the car seat too because the, it made the table not really functional. So the difference in this year model is that it has the three point, the normal shoulder strap configuration. This model, the, the newer models of this, do not have this. They don't have it. And they just have the lap belts. I don't know whether they have the latch or not, or the anchor point. So these cushions come off, and this all, this whole area actually folds down into another bed when you have the table in here. Again, we took the table out. So this actually comes up and inside is our water heater and water lines and some stuff. But you can see that it's got this steel frame that goes all the way down to the frame of the vehicle itself. And it's solid and that's what the seat belts are attached to and that's what all this is attached to. So in the newer models, this is completely different. I don't believe this is here at all. I believe it's just this. And we also have this, which is very important, that is where we put our anchor strap down on. So this whole configuration, you can see a different view there when I take the backing off. This whole configuration is really one of the things that sold this particular van for me because I knew that I could safely secure Rosie's car seat. We used to ride with her facing backwards. You can safely secure it facing backwards in her old big car seat. We have recently switched her to facing forward. She reached the weight, so we changed her around for the last trip, and she's been in that position ever since. But when I was looking at different alternative table options, her seat was just getting in the way, the old big one. So I knew that there had to be a different way to safely secure her that wasn't so bulky. So then I started looking and shopping for car seats and looking for something that had a much smaller profile. There are lots of options out there. We ended up going with this this Graco model. So as you can see, it's much less bulky, much less bulky. 
and is lower. It doesn't stick up as high or stick out as far and it's a little bit thinner. So it'll take up less space and I'm hoping that our table will be able to go in between us in the van. Let's get this car seat installed and see how it works. Say hi Rosie. Hi Rosie. <laughs> All right. Look, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. You are helping me. Okay, let's see. Right, so we need to look at the tether first. Since it is a little bit more difficult to install the tether in this situation than it is in just a normal car, I have to kind of pre-measure it and see what works because I really only get one chance to buckle it. There's no ability for adjusting it or tightening it while it's buckled. Right, we need it longer. Uh, okay, it went too long, so we tighten it a bit. Tighten it a little bit more. Tighten it a little bit more. That seems like. Well, okay. Tighten it a little bit more. My water is that hard. What is that hard? Uh huh. That is a heart. The tether is used as a as a third point of, or fourth, I guess, of securing it so that if you're in a crash, her seat doesn't move forward. It limits the amount of forward movement in the seat that can prevent neck injuries. And mm, I think I went too tight. Loosen it. Okay. Oh All right, got the latch in there. So then the next piece is Let's to thread the thread the seat belt through the back and I've never baby can you hold on to this right here just hold that right there okay oh this is my first time securing this seat in any vehicle so bear with me all right, and then buckle it in, and then, oh, something get twisted, something's twisted. Baby, can you hold this again for me? Okay. Hold that right there. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you know, at least it's, uh, when I was putting her seat, the other big seat in here last time, it was really hot outside, so I was so hot This time at least it's cooler outside, so it's not wrinkled, it comes through there flat. And then we of course kneel on it and pull and tighten. Now this one, this is a little different than getting in a car, because in a car you like ratchet the seat, but you pull it all the way out and ratchet it back in. This one, the locking mechanism is on the buckle itself. So I just put pressure, kneel and pull, kneel and pull. Okay. So you can see it's not supposed to move, not supposed to wiggle more than an inch. And so I'm gonna see if I can tighten it a little bit more because that's wiggling a bit more than an inch. But as you can see, when I pull forward on, granted not as strong as a car crash, of course, but that's the anchor, the tether anchor, keeps it in place. I'm gonna see if I can tighten this just a smidge more. Okay, I don't think it's gonna go any tighter than that. That's as good as it's gonna get anyway. I think we're pretty good. Doesn't move as much. All right, Rosie, you wanna try it out? So, oh my gosh, look, look already. I can tell that doesn't stick out so far. You can climb up in there easier too, can't you? Yeah. You're gonna have to learn how to do these buckles. They're a little bit different than your other seat. Lately, she's been doing the, mommy, I do it, mommy, don't touch it. <laughs> getting her buckles on because she's wanting to do it, which is great. Tighten me down. And... Ta 
you feel? Yeah. Yeah? Does it feel good? Yeah. Are you comfortable? Yeah. And you can cross your little legs like his. And you can have your drinks right here. And you can have some toys right here that you can actually reach. All right. Are we a happy camper? No. <laughs> well. Can you turn back on the table? Scooch over there. Let's see if it, if it goes down on top of your seat. Oh, oh my gosh, it does. Check it out. So she wouldn't really be able to sit in her seat at the table, but the other seat wouldn't even allow the table to go in that spot. So she could sit over there or sit over here. Yes. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Let's get started. Rosie has joined us. What is that? We got these stickers to put on the window like this. Buckle it in.